Today is March 6th, 2024. My name is Melissa Ackerman and I will be interviewing Marta Halpern. Hi Marta, how are you today? Fine, thank you. I'm fine. Good. Tell me about your family, your parents, and if you know your grandparents. Where, where and when were you born? I was born uh, January 20th, 1935. Uh, my family um, doesn't extend that much because uh, the, uh, my parents emigrated from Europe, from Russia at the time, um, but they were little kids when they did, and they uh, emigrated to Argentina. So, <coughs> they, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so they were children when, you know, both my parents were young children when they did their families came in. So there isn't too much of a backup history. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Argentina, mm -hmm. in La Plata. Mm -hmm. And um, my parents were with us. And my mother was one of six siblings. And, uh, and they all live in the same town. So everybody so I grew came? up with my, yeah, my cousins and my, you know, aunts and uncles and a very close family. So everybody lived nearby everybody in the same city in Argentina? Nearby. At that time, it was easy. <laughs> family would stick together in one town, essentially. Mm -hmm. so, um, so I grew up with, the, yeah, a lot of cousins and uh, uh, my age. That we grew up together. Mm -hmm. and we got, it was a close needed family. They got together all the time. Very nice. What did your parents do for a living? My, my uh, father was a salesman. Uh, he sells, you know, mostly uh, furniture, uh, kitchen, kitchen furniture, that kind of thing. Um, my mother ended up be, started being a, a seamstress and ended up being a, a good designer. She, mm -hmm. she really did a lot of work and that. And I grew up with that, helping her and learning the trade, if I should call it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, that was her work, essentially. Did you have any brothers and sisters? I have only one brother is still alive in Argentina, and uh, he's uh, two years younger than me, and that's it. No, how, no. how did your parents end up in that particular town in Argentina? How they, uh, in that place? Mm -hmm. uh, in the, well, as I said, they were children, so they came in with their families. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, we were just commenting that um, most of the people that end up in Argentina, in Buenos Aires, the same like other parts of their uh, split families mm -hmm. that moved to, to America, to North America. Mm -hmm. They were coming from Europe, most of them in that, at the time, they did not Able, but were not able to really choose which direction to go. Uh -huh. They had to be able to get to a boat and they would go to America. Is that was, the, was there already family the, in that particular town when your family came? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. As I said, we don't have much of the history because uh -huh. my parents don't remember uh -huh. they were being very little. Uh -huh. um, and they didn't have that uh -huh. much family coming either. What kind of things did you do for amusement when you were growing up? For, things for fun? Oh, we'll go to the movies, I remember. We'll play with children plays. Mm -hmm. um, well, essentially, in, in particular, I really don't remember okay. if, uh, what else we did. You went to school? We, up, we went to school, of course, and we went to uh, we did participate in some of the uh, Jewish community, uh, young, young groups. Uh, 
we were never, my, my parents were never very religious. Mm -hmm. so did you belong to a synagogue? No, we did not. My grandparents, I was able to meet my grandmother essentially because my grandfather was on my mother's side. Uh, but my grandfather was already sick and we didn't see much of him. But my grandmother I do remember because she lived with us, with mm -hmm. my family, mm -hmm. um, for the last few years of her life. Mm -hmm. So I was able to meet her mm -hmm. and be with her. But uh, other than that, that's where it stopped. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I said, my mother had, yes, her siblings that lived nearby and their children and their families. Uh, that did, was it. Did you celebrate Jewish holidays in any particular way? Essentially, yes, we did. As long as my grandmother was alive, she would be the one, of course, carrying on, on everything. Um, some memories of sitting in a patio, helping her clean up the silverware world <laughs> before, mm -hmm. before the holiday mm -hmm. and so on. But um, no, other than that, my grandmother would go attend synagogue on the holidays, and um, my mother and her sisters will go to synagogue for a little bit just mm -hmm. to greet and be with her, mm -hmm. with her mother. But uh, mm -hmm. we, other than that, we did not uh, attend synagogue. But you, yeah. you did some community things? Yes, I mean, we knew we were Jewish, mm -hmm. we knew the diet. Mm -hmm. um, we, um, I barely remember attending Jewish school when uh, you don't elementary. remember. Okay. Very little. I remember very little about that, and for a very short time. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Okay. Not much. Okay. Did you go to college? No, I finished high school, and I was pursuing a musical career because I was playing the piano and playing out. Um, because of that, then I just stopped, you know, my mm -hmm. education there. I didn't go to college. Okay. But you, did you go on as a musician and um, yes, professionally? Yes, I did until I got married, and uh, then we had to uh, move and relocate because I play salsa, but they had to stop and change my life. You know, when I got married, because I needed to go to work. And I just couldn't pursue it. Where did you meet your husband? Where did you meet your husband? Um, in uh, in La Plata, in the city where we were living. Did he? Uh, was he from there as well? He was. No, he was from Buenos Aires, um, but he was studying at the University of La Plata, mm -hmm. and he studied together with a cousin of mine the same career. So they were together and. Through, through my cousin, I met him. Okay, and about when, what year was that? What year? Do you remember? 1950. Okay. Somewhere there. Okay, so how long did you go out before you got engaged? About four years, mm -hmm. and then we got married. Okay. Yeah. And you got married? In 1956. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. And we're still. That's a long time. That's, that's a long time. So does he have family in um, uh, Buenos Aires, your husband? Uh, yeah. They had my family there? My husband had some family in Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. um, an uncle and his family, mm -hmm. essentially. So where did you live after you got married? When we got married, um, we moved to a place called Bariloche mm -hmm. in the south of Argentina, near the Andes. Um, beautiful place, mm -hmm. and because he was uh, following a career in physics in, in an institute of physics there, and uh, so he needed to live there. Mm -hmm. So we got married and we moved there. And you said we you had to go to work. What kind of work did you end up doing? I ended up working in an office, in a transportation office. Mm -hmm. and that's, uh, mm -hmm. Nothing special. Okay. <laughs> did you have a family? Did you have I, any children? Uh, well, I, I had one baby there, well, at, almost at the end of his career in physics. And we actually, we traveled from there 
with the baby to Germany. We were, my husband did his PhD in Germany. Mm -hmm. So we, we lived in, in Stuttgart for two and a half years mm -hmm. and went back to Argentina. Okay. So, uh, well, after that, as I said, we lived in Argentina until we moved to the States. And um, when did you, uh, yes, okay. And I had two more children before that. Okay, <laughs> so. so how many boys and girls? We I had one daughter, which is the one who lives here, mm -hmm. and uh, two boys. Okay, and what, what did they end up doing in their lives to keep you busy? They are doing really well, mm -hmm. thank God. My daughter is now living here in Dallas. I'm working for a company. And uh, my son's one is a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And uh, he lives in Chicago. And the other one lives in Boston with a career of computer software, whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's doing well. So they all came up to the United States before you and your husband did? No. They, they came with us when they uh -huh. were little. Oh, okay. They came in in 1964. Okay. And the children, were, my daughter was almost six years old. Okay. And the boys were one three, and one wasn't even one, one year old. So, so where did you were, live during that time? We moved into Chicago. Mm -hmm. When we came in, he had a, a position at the University of Chicago, mm -hmm. and that's where we stayed. For so a while. How long were you in Chicago? We were between Chicago and the outskirts of Chicago uh, about six years. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, <coughs> and then we moved to New Jersey. Actually, New York, New Jersey, whatever, mm -hmm. because we moved to the first year. Mm -hmm. and, and lived there until we came here. Okay, and when did you move to Dallas? Did you move to Dallas to move into the legacy? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, just, okay. My daughter is doing, of course, that uh, she, they wanted us to move closer to mm -hmm. one of them. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are here. Okay. So all the, in the different places that you lived, you lived in Chicago for a while, yeah. you lived in New Jersey. Was there any one particular place that you most enjoyed living? Oh, that's hard to say. It's hard to say because, I mean, we love living in Bariloche. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. We had a good life in New Jersey many years. I don't know that I could point one particular place. That so were your children mostly raised in... In, in all those places. <laughs> in, okay, so you were tr you were you moved in different places with with the with, with the, the children, with and the they children. grew up. Yeah. In the different cities, did you belong to synagogues or get involved in any different organizations? Yeah. Well, in New Jersey, at some point, uh, we got involved through our children. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, we were not religious. We were not, mm -hmm. you know. But my. Well, first, my daughter got very interested in Jewish studies when she got into college, mm -hmm. and she involved herself in that, and she decided to to join synagogue and so on later on. Uh, my younger son, so, got involved as a youth in a youth group for mm -hmm. the synagogue. Mm -hmm. uh, he really again became a little more. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, involved in, in Jewish activities and especially the, the younger kids mm -hmm. and so on. So, uh, so of course, they dragged us a little bit more into that. that mm -hmm. uh, we, we were not raised on, on no much into a Jewish religion or, or, you know. But they've kind of dragged you into it um, they, yeah, because we, of their activities. We not, you know, expect not to be involved when oh. they were doing, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when my youngest son was uh, named president of the youth group, mm. so we couldn't just mm. deny that we are involved. Oh, absolutely. 
Were yes. any of your children, did any of them have bar mitzvahs or get confirmed? Well, as I said, my younger son was the one, because the middle one was never very involved in this. But, um, in, what was it? Um, I was asking yeah, if he got bar, bar, bar mitzvahs. Mitzvah. By the time when he was almost 16, he decided to get by Mesa on his own. Where were you living at that point? In, in New Jersey. Okay. In New Jersey, in mm -hmm. Teaneck. And uh, it was a reform synagogue. Mm -hmm. They had a group that were doing Mesa, the Mesa Corp, mm -hmm. they were doing that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And being there, one day he came back and decided he wanted to be by Mesa. So, so he started studying. He had and nothing everything. against it. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we supported him, and uh, he did it. So, do you, uh, yeah. So, you have some um, grandchildren. Yes. Tell me about them. Grown up. So, and my, as a matter of fact, the grandchildren grew up a little bit more involved for different reasons. The young, the older one, uh, her father was more religious into mm -hmm. that, so she grew up a little bit more in New York City. Mm -hmm. And she got bad mitzvah, and the, see, the, the children from my younger son, who was the one that got more into Judaism, uh, also got bad mitzvah. In fact, the younger one uh, had a bad mitzvah in Israel. Mm -hmm. We had a chance to travel. Did ever, so the whole family went to him. Israel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we did it. Uh, that's about it, yeah, as I said. So. so how old are the grandchildren now? Well, the oldest one is 33. And then there are two that are 28. Mm. One of them is a doctor in Boston, and, mm. the, other one, uh, and the other one lives in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. um, and the two boys, the, the, the younger ones, I mean, that grew up and then they're working, mm -hmm. doing whatever whatever their jobs are nowadays, which I don't understand much. Do you, you know, get to see them? Things. Do you get to see them very yeah. often? Well, as a matter of fact, one of them was here until yesterday, came mm -hmm. over for, for the weekend mm -hmm. to visit. He lives now in California. Um, I'm working on a job very well, I'm mm -hmm. doing very well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. And and now, since we're here, it's a little bit more difficult. It was easier when we were in New Jersey because mm -hmm. everybody will pass by either New York or New mm -hmm. Jersey and it will be closer. Do but you make it, have you made it back to Argentina very often? Well, we used to go every year until the pandemic that we uh, yeah. just, you know, cut the whole thing. But we ended up going back last, uh, last month, no, last December. Uh, you still have a lot of family down there? I have my brother who unfortunately is not well mm -hmm. and that Sorry. you know pushed me to make a decision that we have to travel. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to do it now. Mm -hmm. We did it for years when we were younger. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's, you know, it's a little bit more difficult, but we made the effort and did it. Mm -hmm. And we spend almost a month there. So. Oh, okay. Have you traveled much aside from that? Do you like to travel? Oh, yeah. We love to travel. What we are some of the places that yes, you... Yes, we did. You know, a lot of travel. Where did you like going? Well, we did a lot of nice, very nice trips. I mean, to name it. We went to Europe. We went to... Did you cr like to cruise or did you like we to do land cruises. trips? We did cruises. We did a couple of two or three cruises. Uh, we travel with friends and we, you know, my car, the only mm -hmm. you know, a lot mm -hmm. of different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are your, did you have any special hobbies that you've enjoyed during your life? Music. Music you still play? Uh, no, I should say no because I haven't played in a few few years and now I was able to, have to get rid of the piano, which is... The, Luckily, still in the family, but mm -hmm. <laughs> we had, we couldn't bring it here. So, do you enjoy going to symphony? Yes, 
a lot. Do you get to go yeah. often while you're here? Well, while we are here, just we just had a chance to do it twice. Once mm -hmm. we went to the opera because our friends mm -hmm. invited us, mm -hmm. and uh, and then lately last weekend we went to the symphony. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, and I, I hope to start getting engaged a little bit more into oh, the nice. yeah into the concerts and so on. I love that. Is your husband musical? He is not really musical, I wouldn't call it, but he loves music. He enjoys he going. He enjoys classical Listening. music. Well, so, okay. Except now he really is very upset because his hearing is very, you know, not, not as good as it was. So he's suffering tremendously. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. So how have you adjusted to life here at Legacy? We loved it from the beginning, you know, even when we came in to try it for a couple of days, like I said, <clears throat> the first impression was really good. The people, the atmosphere, and so on, you know, we loved it. You made so a lot of friends. And we, yeah, we are, and you know, it's easy to make friends, you know, here because everybody is so friendly and so welcoming and so on. Mm -hmm. So that's the main thing that we enjoy doing and here. you get to see a lot of your daughter? Uh, yeah, she's luckily 10 minutes away by car, so, mm -hmm. but she works, so it's mm -hmm. limited also because she had to work every day. Mm -hmm. I bet she's happy that you're here. She's the one you know, one factor that moved us here. Mm -hmm. It was her. <clears throat> when they decided that we had to be moving to someone, one of them, mm -hmm. closer to one of them, so mm -hmm. there was no choice. Well, the <laughs> winners are a little easier than the Chicago winners. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, are there any, um, is there, what are you most proud of? during your life? You've lived a lot of different places and done a lot of different things. Is there anything that stands out? I have out? to say who am I more proud of is my children. I'm very proud of them. They really did very well in their life. And, and they're, you know, quite close to us. I, you know, we were able to maintain a good relationship with them, even at a distance. Mm -hmm. So. That would be my choice. And are there any things that I didn't ask you that you'd like to discuss? Yes, and I like it, are there any Are there any other things oh. that you want to be sure and, and say that I I didn't ask you about? We got plenty of time. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We touched so many uh, areas that uh, I would say I I don't know. What to mention? I mean, we're we're happy here so far. We I think we had a good life. Mm -hmm. We could enjoy life quite a bit. Mm -hmm. We are at a point that you know this is a very good place to be, and we are fortunate that we can do it. That's what I feel. Very nice. Well, thank you very much. I've enjoyed You're visiting welcome. with you. Okay.